वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू सेक्शन स्टोरेज मैनेजमेंट इन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो यूजुअली योर स्टोरेज हैपन इन ए डिस्क ओके सो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्क एच डी डी हार्ड डिस्क एंड एस एस डी यू नो अबाउट इट एस डी डी बेसिकली वी आर फिजिकल डिवाइसिस विच वर कैसे मैकेनिकल मैकेनिकल थिंग मैकेनिकल मैकेनिकल प्रोसेस हैपन हियर सो ड्यू टू विच देर विल बी लॉस noises happen here and each of the smaller unit of the ssd is called sector but ssd is in nand based flash memory flash memory nand based flash memory flash memory so due to which it is 10 times faster than the hdd and each smallest section of this ssd is known as page Which has a four KB of space, and one twenty eight pages combined is called one twenty eight pages combined is called block. So space of block is five hundred twelve KB because four into one twenty eight pages. So every read and write operation happen in this block. So whenever you read, you always read one block. Whenever you write, you write in a one one block. What will happen? There will be SSD. It it is divided into one one block. So whenever you write, you write in one block or you read from one block. This type of thing happen. So basically, the storage happen in a disk is of two form. It will either a file or a directory. So file contain contain your information, but directly contain Directory contain either directory or file inside them. For example, you have a root directory, you have a then ABCD directory, and this contain a file .txt, and this file contain all your doc document or your information, and these all the are called directory. You can understand with a folder. Folder only have a folder or have a file. I hope you understand it. Now file which file has supports multiple thing like you can create a file okay delete a file okay read a file okay write a file okay or truncate a file okay now you are assuming there what is the difference between delete and truncate they are very similar them but have a little difference so basically in delete you delete everything not only the content of file but also the attribute related to when it made who has a access of this file when the last changes happen everything attribute also get deleted also get deleted so you release that is file but in truncate truncate only the content get deleted no attribute get deleted except except one attribute that is called length of the file length of the file which is Is again set to zero because the length becomes zero. As the you delete all the content, so length becomes zero. You do not delete any of the attribute. All the attributes remain the same. I hope now you understand. So when you open any file, when you open any file, it also has a open file table. Open file table. It contain detail of all the file which are currently open. What all the detail it contain regarding file pointer? This will help to read or write anything. When you write anything in a file, you cannot write any where. You write where the pointer is at. Okay. So file pointer. Again is file open count. File open count count the how many application usually using this file. So suppose any file is used by the one application. It is one, two, then two. It is three. You may three. And if any file has a file counter zero. Then that file will be removed from the open file table. How the file count open counter become two? Suppose I open a file one note here. Now I open this same file in my video editing software to edit it. So there will be two places where I open it. So now also it contains the disk location where this file is located. Also contain access access location. Who can access this file? Who cannot access the file? Also contain the access right. Now 
we know that any file can be open by the one or more application suppose a file can be open by a two application a and b now suppose a changes anything in b and now b also come and change anything to see the file how will change happen b a override the b or b override the b c file who override each other or the file become corrupt because everyone try to override and nothing will happen what will happen so we use lock system to avoid this thing or basically there are four different locks okay we will know each other by first one is share lock if a file has a share lock you can only read the file you can't do any other thing if file has a exclusive right okay you can write or or read both thing happen another one is that is called advisory lock what will happen in advisory lock advisory lock so suppose a file is read by a application a and b also want to edit anything or change anything so there will be alert come and it is shows that currently this file is changing by a application please do not do it if you accept it no problem if you reject it you can change their thing and the file become corrupt this type of system is used in basically linux linux but mandatory in mandatory you have suppose seen many time that if you open any file in video editing and you wanted to delete their file in your file system the file do not delete why because if any application is currently use that file you can't another application can't do any action at that file this type of system is basically present in a windows system in this system if any file is having any application any application run that file the second application cannot do any type of changes in that file this type of system is available in a mandatory called mandatory and is available in a windows system now each file and directory has a one unique number that is called inode number okay it has a many information about that file and directory what are that information it contain information when the last last time this file get modified what the changes are who can who access this file last time what is the size of that file number of block used by the file file mode of information it contain basically the file basically the file is whether the that storage is file or directory because the inode number is also present by the directory also so with the help of mode of information you can know that basically this inode number is basically telling that it is a file or a directory okay who who has the ownership of that file or directory okay now you know each and everything about the file and file register suppose you wanted to create any file so how the space is allocated to any disk suppose this is a disk disk has a number of block okay okay so you wanted to create any new file or any directory how the space is allocated to them so it can be allocated with the help of three different technique first one is continuous second one is link third one is index so let us start each one of them so let us start with it first one is that is continuous in continuous if any file is created and we have to allocate a space for it so we firstly assume the size of that file assume it estimate it and allocate a continuous space for them suppose we assume that it need a four is four block so we continuously give a four block where it is available suppose there will be a second file which we assume that its size will be require seven block so we when ever seven see the seven block of continuous be allocated space because of a continuous it is very very fast very very fast but there will be a very big problem what we have to be assume the size of a file before allocating the their space so sometimes we assume overestimate the file size we sometimes underestimate the file size if suppose we allocate any file seven block and we overestimate it and it only required five block so there will be two block wastage okay 
सपोज एनी फाइन रिक्वायर सेवन ब्लॉक ओके बट बी अंडर इस्टिमेट दैट इट विल रिक्वायर ओनली फाइव ब्लॉक सो वॉट विल हैपन इट एज द फाइल बिकम करेक्ट बिकॉज इट्स स्पेस इज नॉट प्रेजेंट और वी हैव टू मूव विथ टू दिस फाइल टू एन अदर लोकेशन वेयर देर विल बी ए सेवन कॉन्टीन्यूस ब्लॉक इज फ्री एंड ड्यू टू विच द फ्रेगमेंटेशन इधर है यू नो द फ्रेगमेंटेशन इधर इधर दीज आर ऑल द प्रॉब्लम इन द कॉन्टीन्यूस सिस्टम सो टू अवॉइड दिस वी अगेन गो टू द नेक्स्ट सिस्टम दैट इज कॉल इन लिंक सिस्टम वॉट हैपन इन द लिंक सिस्टम सपोज देर विल बी फाइल ए बी सी डी इट हैज टू इंफॉर्मेशन स्टार्ट एंड एंड फ्रॉम विच ब्लॉग इट स्टार्ट एंड फ्रॉम विच ब्लॉग इट गेट टू एंड सो सपोज देर विल बी ए डिक्स हैज ए नंबर ऑफ ब्लॉक so what will happen you link each of the block like this so there will be a no size problem because you do not have to estimate the size you just link each of this block okay so there will be a nice size problem do not have to estimate that thing but there are some problem what suppose you have in the first block so you need some space to store the next pointer so if each block has a 512 kb it so pointer to is to save the pointer of a next thing you may need to 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 4 kb of information space for this so for in storing the information you have just 512 kb so this will be a wastage of some space in the block another problem is you cannot travel directly to any block suppose you have any file of 2000 kb you want information from 1500 kb so you cannot directly go because 1500 kb information is stored in the third block but you do not know where is the third block because you just know first block and last block so you have to go from first block then second block then third block you cannot directly go and third problem in in the link link system is that If there will be any error in the pointer, a pointer do not show where the next thing is, so you will lose all the information ahead of them. This is also a big problem. And to avoid all these things, we come with a third solution that is index allocation. What happen in the index allocation? You have a file. it contain two information name a b c d and a block number suppose that will be a 90 so you have a this different block okay okay suppose this will be a 19 number block okay this contain information of all the block which has this file suppose 1 2 3 7 9:30 so whenever you want to open the file or you want to do anything you go to the file name you go to the block number from the block number you know that the all the block where this data is stored in a sequence manner so you know first it is 1 then 2 then 3 then it will be a 7 then it will be a 9 then it will be a 30 so you know all the thing so uh, what will be advantage of it so you do not need any space for the in the block to store the pointer and you do not have any problem of any problem of pointer get either because if pointer get either do not have a problem because you have all the details stored in a one block also you can travel in any manner you do not need to travel in a sequence manner suppose you need the third block you just go to the block number 19 know the third block you can directly go to that block you do not need to travel to sequence i hope with this video you will know each and everything about the file file related thing in the next video we will be seeing just like cpu scheduling algorithm there will be a dix scheduling algorithm which will be used in a io operation so in the next video we will be seeing about the dix scheduling algorithm till then goodbye we will meet in the next video